It's Brown and Kickstart PPC, and today I'm going to be diving into the restock tool on Scale Insights. Now, a lot of sellers struggle to stay in stock, and this is only just with lead times themselves. But say you have uh, stock in a warehouse in the US, UK, EU, wherever you hold your inventory, just trying to get that right amount of time to ship from that warehouse to FBA, you can put that all into Scale Insights, and it will tell you when you need to do it what quantities and give you the right information that you need. So I'll show you how to set all that up now and let's dive into the video. So to get to this page, all you need to do is go dashboard, restock forecasting, and you'll be able to access that on the left hand side. And you'll have access to all of your products right here. Now this is the demo account, so this isn't any real products on here, so I can show you everything that you need to see. Um, for example, you can see what your, uh, what your total FBA stocks are, how much scale insights is predicting that you should restock, uh, what day you should restock by, and days to reorder. So you can pretty much put in everything you need to put in. Uh, you've got your 3PL inventory, you've got your inbound freight in production, everything that you want to put in, you can put it in this dashboard. It's quite easy to do and you can set um, inventory uh, restock profiles. So, you know, you have when, when it's more aggressive. I mean, this is, this is all down to anything you want. So you can go create um, and you can do it per product because every product's gonna have its own lead time, uh, different level of stock reserve that you wanna set in there, um, certain amount of days you wanna have, minimum re restock quantity and different alerts. So like when you're down to like 10, 15%, if you're, you're only ordering small quantities, you might want to have uh, that at a higher percentage. And you can alert when uh, it's restock is required on defined days, so you have that option as well. Um, and if you go back to restock forecasting, you can even go to email reminders. So you can put in any company email, so you could have your head of operations, at, you know, the 3PL, and you can have this send them a reminder when you need to restock. So. You know, and, and you can go you can go per product and kind of put everything in as you need it. So, you know, same on the custom profiles, you can do a custom forecast, put everything in, link it up per product. Um, so that's default. You can have your default setting on there that say it's you want to restock, you want to have 30 days worth of stock in at a time. Say you're holding stock in a 3PL, maybe you, you've got to analyze the lead time on that, how long it normally takes to get in. If you're an oversized product, maybe it takes longer, you wanna increase that uh, lead time on there. Now you can go in here and you can uh, you can edit all of this information. So uh, get all that information from your suppliers, um, you know, your supply chain, get all the lead time dates, put it all in here. Same from your 3PL, you'll have all that information, rough estimates, and Scale Insights will just tell you. So you'll be on the main main dashboard itself dashboard and it will tell you so 34 days supply 85 days supply so you can just see it on that side and you can just keep up to date on things just by seeing those metrics and you know as an amazon seller you do have access to do this on amazon but for some of you you might prefer to use third-party software rather than put it into amazon well this has the ability to be that software rather than have loads of different softwares for loads of different things it's easy to just put it all into one thing. Your metrics, your restock stuff, your bids, everything in one place. And in the case you don't have Scale Insights already and you're wanting to get this set up, we have a coupon code in the description for a lifetime discount of 10% with a 30 day free trial with no credit card required. And in the case that you like Scale Insights and you're using it currently, you wanna know more, well, subscribe to the channel and leave any comments with anything you want to ask, any questions you have or any comments. You know, I'm, I'm responding to comments personally, so I'll be, I'll be getting back to you for any comments that you do have. And, you know, in the case that you need help with Amazon PPC, you know where to find our information. That's all below. So you'll reach out to me directly and we can hop on a call. So until the next video, hope you guys have a good day and we'll see you then. Bye.